Here are 10 oil filters. I'm gonna cut open to see which one is best and which one is the worst. Then at the end, I'll give a one sentence summary of what each one has to offer. Now these guys all fit the same vehicle and they're arranged by increasing price. Starting on the left with Walmart's SuperTech, the price is $5.90, which gradually increases to $11.34 for the Mobile One. And then the price really starts to jump. The Wix XP and the K&N both cost $15.99, and the AMS Oil cost $22.55. Now, in terms of overall toughness and robustness, the standout is the K&N. And I noticed as soon as I pulled it out of its box, when I go to squeeze the case as hard as I can, I can't feel the case begin to deflect like I can with the other cases. So it's the heaviest, followed closely by the AMS Oil. And on the other end, the lightest two filters are the cheaper fram offerings all 10 filters came with anti-drain back valves like this one which is just a check valve that makes sure your filter stays filled with oil when you turn your engine off so you don't get a dry start the next time you go to fire it up six of them are specifically advertised as being made from silicone which performs best when it's cold those would be the three frams the micro guard the Wix XP, and the AMS oil. Now, the other thing I looked at on the bottom of the filters was the gaskets. The most important thing about gaskets is that they need to stay with the filter. It can't fall off before you install it, and you don't want it sticking to the engine when you take it off later. So, after doing a quick pull test, I figured out that the one that held on the best was the MicroGuard right here. It's also the only one that for sure is made from silicone, and it's also the cleanest filter from the bottom, just by looking at it. By comparison... Here's the Mobile One. You can see there's a little bit of overspray. There's a little bit of gunk. Not terrible, but the MicroGuard was the standout here. The worst ones were the AC Delco and the SuperTech, which are very similar filters in terms of build. They may be both made by the same uh, manufacturer on the back end, but the gaskets, if you look, just kind of come right off. That is not my favorite, but the rest were all somewhere in the middle. Here are all the filters cut open. In the interest of time, I've taken all the particulars I normally cover, and I've saved them for a chart that I will show at the end if you want to see something specific. And with that, let's get into the one-sentence summaries of each of these filters. Now, this is the Super Tech. It's got a rock-bottom price, and yet its only downside is fairly minor. It's got a high efficiency rating, but it was achieved using a large particle size of 30 microns. So, of course, you're going to get a high score that way. Now the Fram Extra Guard does have a nice low price, and its efficiency was measured at 20 microns, though it's only 95%. And you can see the build quality is not so hot with paper end caps. And finally, the mileage guarantee is only 10,000. The AC Delco is essentially a super tech with the best mileage guarantee of the group, but it costs 50% more. The Micro Guard is excellent at its $10 price point because it has the highest total filter area, a 20,000 thick case, excellent build quality, and the only downside is a low mileage guarantee. The Fram Tough Guard is the cheapest option that gives a 99% efficiency at 20 microns with a competitive total filter area, but it's overpriced given the paper end caps and the fact that the ultra synthetic is only 50 cents more. The Fram Ultra Synthetic has the same great efficiency as the Tough Guard, but it's got a much better build quality with a dual layer synthetic media and a higher mileage guarantee. Mobile One's differentiator used to be their 20,000 mile rating, but now five other filters match that or better. It's good, but it doesn't stand out anymore. The Wix XP does not publish filtration efficiency, but the build quality is great. And it's one of the only two filters here that has a wire backer, which you can kind of see here. It's white plastic, a little tough to see, but I love that when a filter includes a backer. The K&N has a heavy-duty case and base plate and a one-inch welded nut for easy removal. They don't publish their filtration efficiency numbers, but since they're high flow-oriented, filtering out the tiniest of particles is not exactly what they're going for. And lastly, here's the AMS oil. It's tied with the Ultra Synthetic for best filtration efficiency, but it gives you a thicker case, a metal wire backer, a 25,000 mile guarantee, 
a total weight that is second only to the K&N, barely. But the only downsides are total, total filter area is pretty low because of the wire backer, and of course, it's high price. So which is best and which is worst? Well, worst is easy. I would say that's the Fram Extra Guard. Best has a couple different definitions, but I'll give you three different ones. Best bang for the buck is easily the SuperTech. The best overall is the Amsoil, with a runner-up being the Wix XP, if you can't stomach the price. And the best middle option, I would say, is the MicroGuard. Now, those are my opinions. Feel free to roast me in the comments, but I stand by what I said. Now, here is the chart at the end, if you guys want to see any of the particulars about any of these filters that I didn't cover. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps you pick.